What is XR? Literally, extended reality, extended reality, refers to the combination of reality and virtuality to create a virtual environment that can interact with humans and computers. More specifically, it allows people to enter the virtual world through devices such as VR headsets, tactile gloves, tactile vests, and one-way treadmills, as in the movie Ready Player One, for drag racing, fierce fighting, teleportation, and adventures, is the ideal state that XR technology can achieve. Regardless of the imagination, this company named Kyle Wu Shen, has already implemented XR technology in real life. During the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics, Chi Wu Wu and the popular Kishin Group, a leading enterprise in the inner universe, put VR products in the Winter Olympic Village, allowing the former chairman of the International Olympic Organizing Committee Samaranch Jr. and the chairman of the International Olympic Organizing Committee Bach to experience the real simulation experience Shenzhou spacecraft manned spaceflight, Zhao Long dived into the deep sea, 2022 Beijing consumer season. The live broadcast of the virtual human Vi Vi Zihan created by Chi Lu Wu Shen, attracted many people and dignitaries to watch. On the client side, although the customer fields are different, because of the demand for virtual content and digital and real integration, Chi Lu Wu Shen has won Intel, Disney, Nvidia, PricewaterhouseCoopers, Blue Focus, Lenovo Venture Capital, Samsung, Sony, BMW, Audi, Volvo. Toyota and many other international top corporate customers. As a subsidiary of the popular Kishin Group, from all angles, Kyle is like a number one player focusing on the top XR experience, but Joe Dow, the co-founder and CEO of Kyle, told the small dining table to create a top XR experience it's just the first step. Chi Lu's bigger goal is to make XR enter the lives of ordinary people with a lower threshold and a more friendly way. But on the other hand, the supply of XR content is insufficient, the cost is high, and it is difficult to open the C end market. This is a recognized problem in the industry. Major companies such as Meta, Microsoft, and Tencent are reducing the size of their XR teams. In this regard, Joe Dow thinks, the premise of realizing top player is to allow more players to enter the virtual world. Therefore, Free and easy-to-use XR content production tools will definitely be a rigid demand in the future, and they will also have the opportunity to bring qualitative changes to the industry. In terms of financing, in June 2022, Chi Wu-shen completed a round of financing of nearly 100 million yuan, led by Avic Trust, followed by Lakala and Blue Focus. It is backed by the popular Kishin Group, whose investors include Xiaomi, CCB International, Lenovo Venture Capital, with Venture Capital, Mango Fund, Intel, and other capital giants. From aerospace, science and industry to XR entrepreneurship. In the field of virtual reality, I can be regarded as a typical example of veterans who never die. Joe Dow joked about his career. Graduated from North China Electric Power University with a major in computer science, Zhou Dao entered the third Academy of China Aerospace Science and Industry after graduation, served as the general manager of the Virtual Reality Company of China Aerospace Simulation Corporation, and presided over the development of many large-scale military and civilian simulation products, participated in the famous astronaut aviation simulation production for training landing various large-scale military simulation simulators and adapting XR content, etc. This is a stable, decent and secure job, but in 2015, Joe Dow proposed to leave. He told the small dinner table, the moment I put on the Oculus Rift headset, I seemed to see the future. Joe Dow believes that human beings have been pursuing the upgrade of visual experience. From black and white mimes to 3D blockbusters, from open air movie screens to IMAX theaters, with image quality ranging from 360p to 8K. A series of technological breakthroughs are all for the ultimate presentation of images. As a new type of experience and imaging technology, VR can truly simulate the environment seen by the eyes, thus providing a more realistic and immersive experience. 
Zuckerberg also concluded from this, VR will be the last screen of mankind. With an infinite longing for virtual reality, Zhou Dao left the Third Academy of Aerospace Science and Industry of China, received nearly 10 million angel investments, and founded a startup company with the research and development direction of Motion Somata Sensory. During the first wave of VR boom from 2015 to 2020, this startup company also attracted much attention and won orders from Sony and Apple. By providing virtual reality motion sensing products and solutions, this startup company has served Samsung Electronics, Baofeng Technology, China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation, Aerospace Science and Industry, Aerospace Science and Technology, BMW, Volvo, Huoxia, etc. in the fields of VR entertainment, film and television, and simulation training. Happiness and many other top companies. The world's largest VR comprehensive experience park launched by it, has attracted corporate executives from Zuckerberg, Microsoft, and Intel, as well as stars such as Jiang Yimou and Yi Yu to check in. But the first wave of VR turned out to be a false fire. The bottleneck of network, hardware and content is difficult to break through, and the industrial business model is immature, which makes the bright future of VR far less than expected. According to the data from Kakacha, after the boom in the VR capital market in 2016, the financing capacity and amount of VR slash R projects have declined year by year. In 2017, there were 77 projects with an amount of 1.7 billion yuan, in 2018, there were 48 projects with an amount of more than 1.7 billion yuan, 38 cases in 2019, with an amount of 1.5 billion yuan, 18 cases in 2020, with an amount of 1.1 billion yuan. Before the future of virtual reality fusion, Joe Dow's startup company, like many VR companies, fell on the road of chasing dreams. However, Joe Dow believes that the failure of his first venture allowed him to improve his understanding of corporate management and industry trends, and also exercised the team in a cruelest way. It is difficult for people who are not sure about the future of virtual reality stick to it. On the other hand, the higher threshold of the virtual reality industry and the immature market situation also made Joe Dow realize, instead of going it alone, startup companies should perhaps cooperate with like-minded groups to form an effect of 1 plus 1 greater than 2. Therefore, in 2019, Joe Dow led his original aerospace colleagues and team to join the popular Kishin Group as the CEO of Kyle Wushen, a subsidiary of the group. Create XR tools to solve the cost pain points of virtual human production. Joe Dow recalled that his first encounter with the popular Kishin Group was in 2015, when Joe Dow's team was still the equipment supplier of the popular Kishin. The basis of the previous cooperation has allowed the group to better understand the technical characteristics of the Saudau team. Therefore, the group has determined two main business lines at the beginning of the establishment of Kyle Wu Shen, one is the old line of the Saudau team, and continue to do VR somatosensory simulation equipment, such as tactile gloves, tactile vests, etc., the second is to start exploring new application directions based on virtual reality technology. Based on the actual needs of the business, in 2019, the Kyle Wushen team quickly determined that the Virtual Human Society will be the first to apply virtual reality technology. Relying on the group's BN resources, Chila Wushen has received customized projects from well-known companies such as Lenovo, Gigabyte, Nvidia, Blue Focus, PricewaterhouseCoopers, and JD.com. In a large number of customer orders, the team found that whether it is the real world or the virtual world, the core is people. In the real world, people are the main body of activities, and in the virtual world, digital people become the key factor connecting content and scenes. Joe Dow said, even in the virtual world, people still hope to have their own virtual avatar, avatar, to carry out various activities. Enterprises also hope to have their own virtual brand ambassadors. But on the other side of the actual market demand, 
virtual humans are always a luxury for small and medium-sized enterprises and individuals. First of all, the cost of virtual human production is relatively high, and the cost of hundreds of thousands to millions can only be borne by head agencies and enterprises, and most people cannot own virtual human images. Second, high-precision virtual human beings are mainly produced by CG, which cannot be driven in real time, leading to limited application scenarios, and the inability to perform live broadcast and real-time interaction. Third, the low efficiency of virtual content generation and the long production cycle prevent a large number of virtual people from appearing. Aiming at the actual pain points of the industry, Joe Dow believes that launching an integrated platform, using tools to reduce the cost of virtual humans and production thresholds, and following the people-friendly route will be a feasible solution. Therefore, it took a year and tens of millions of dollars for Chila to launch a free virtual human content creation platform Virtual Kaka. Specifically, users can quickly generate a super-realistic 3D virtual human on the Virtual Kaka platform, with 1,500 plus adjustment parameters and 40,000 plus head faces, which ensures that the virtual human image has thousands of faces, through ordinary mobile phone cameras, users can complete 200 plus micro expressions and whole body gesture motion capture, and drive virtual people in real time, with a large number of built-in XR film, and television scenes. Users can switch the scenes where virtual people are at any time, such as deserts, forests, snow fields and attics, at the time of release, users can simultaneously push streams to major mainstream video platforms and VR platforms such as Douyin, Quazu, Bilibili, Taobao, live broadcast and video. In Cao Dao's words, Virtual Kaka provides full link services, including avatar image customization, content production, real-time rendering, interactive response, scene construction and other aspects. Users from all walks of life can use Virtual Kaka to create XR, and apply the content to different scenarios such as live broadcast, marketing, customer service, education and teaching. Use B-side income to support C-side test water. High precision, multi-field, and free. When these three labels are concentrated in one product, you can imagine that what we want to do is to subvert the entire virtual human industry. Joe Dow told the small dining table. After the failure of his last startup, Joe Dow realized the importance of self-creation of the enterprise. He also said frankly, although our ideal of realizing the integration of virtual and real is great, we must first let ourselves survive. The commercialization route taken by Chi Lu Yu Shen can be summarized as follows, use B-side revenue to support C-side testing, and use project revenue to guarantee R and D investment. Take the cooperation between Kyle Liu Shen and Intel as an example. Based on the cube concept of the Intel brand logo, Chi Lu Yu Shen designed a virtual space that resembles a Rubik's Cube for Intel, Intel Hyperreal Future Experience Hall. In Baidu Shiran, users can enter the virtual space, experience the technical characteristics of Intel chips, and understand its brand characteristics through tours to build brand awareness. In the cooperation with PwC PricewaterhouseCoopers, Kailu used virtual space technology to restore the PwC offline park to a high degree, the exterior was modeled and reproduced in one-to-one -one according to the actual area and functional areas of the park, Virtual exhibition halls and conference rooms are created inside the building, and users can experience functions such as tours, virtual meetings, and video playback. On the day of its launch, users from dozens of countries around the world entered the virtual PwC building at the same time through their mobile phones or VR terminals. The case of cooperation with leading companies in the industry not only proves the technical capabilities of Kailu, but also guarantees the company's revenue. Joe Dow told the small dinner table, the projects of corporate cooperation alone are too much to take over, and the company's profitability is very good. But Joe Dow also emphasized that Kailu is not a company that focuses on serving the B-side. 
It is the ultimate goal of Kailuawu to allow more people to enter the virtual world and experience the charm of virtual and real integration. In terms of staffing, at present, the total number of employees in Kailuawu Shen Company is close to 90, 90% of whom are R&D personnel, generally from scientific research institutions such as China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation, and the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Instead of devoting all the team's energy to serving the B-side and gaining direct benefits, Zhou Dao split the team in half, one half is mainly responsible for project delivery, and the other half is mainly responsible for technology research and development. Use project income to support research and development, and use research and development results to improve project quality. The insistence on the sea end market stems from Zhou Dao's technical belief that technology should serve more people and also from his prediction of the future market. According to a lot of market research, Zhou Dao found that for the so-called alpha generation, virtual and reality are interchangeable, and they prefer the former. For example, in the past, people may prefer to talk face to face, but the post tends seem to be more socially fearful and hope to communicate through virtual avatars. This means that the media in the next era will not be limited to the familiar forms of text, pictures, videos, etc., but may turn to a more virtual and interactive 3D direction. As a technology company, while ensuring self hematopoiesis it should also make technical reserves in advance towards the general direction of the future.